up against melee, the you know this melee core that I do believe is coming for burning or er, for. I'm sorry, Ame, right? So both of them sitting on level three, not getting completely shut down whatsoever. The only thing, only problem you probably have is for Magnus bottom lane troubles. Yao, here comes just snowball forward. XSS underneath the tower, the shards. He doesn't block him in, but the shackles still holding him in position. The earth, he cannot get back. I um, may able to harass that bottom tier one tower quite heavily. This is with the catapult wave and is forcing an extra TP. It's disruptor coming down, rolling boulder. Able to connect with the troll warlord. Yao and Victoria is here, but Victoria can't get in straight away. That Earth Spirit kick doesn't work for the shot! Massively on the money! XSS! At least he can start to create a little bit of space, but he will not survive! Saved the troll and gave them two kills with those ice shards. They're gonna go again. Victoria, here comes the shards forward. Locking in the Earthshaker Q. What can you really do here? Puts up a wall, the fissure, stunning and keeping the troll warlord at least away from the Earthshaker and OP. Reinforcements have arrived. The Death Prophet wants a fight. They're gonna get it. The glimpse dragging troll back into the spirit siphon plus the exorcism damage. It'll be more than enough to bring down Arme. And with bottom lane, bottom Yow, lane Yow, 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 yeah, he's comes forward. He's already moved down far enough. He won't be able to avoid the kick from Bobica. Goes for a quick hex. The wall is up, so he knows he can't go anywhere apart from just ether shocking. They didn't, they didn't see it. They definitely didn't see it. XXS now coming forward, looking for that blink echo. Who's he gonna find? Right now, the echo slam. It doesn't get the sound of the troll wall on. You can still get Q's ulti out, however, but the damage. Troll standing his ground. Snowball can pick him up and drag him forward. They're gonna find the kill already. Flipping the earth, shaking like an omelet into Bobakor as well. LGD really not being punished when they get caught out. You can at least put down the Chronosphere, combining with the exes, but Yao holding OP in position. They need space with the RP. LGD! As uh, well, it can break. They don't find a target just yet, but top lane, it's the, gonna be the Earthshaker. RPM up, the solo flip. Still OP later. will arrive, but then again, you put the Mass Serpent Wars down, and Yao even caught the Earth Spirit. Bobica wanting to come and help. The Glimpse, he's just trying to get some space here. Q begins his TP, but it won't happen. Him Victor's is snowballing completely. Now the TP oh, in from coming Bobica. In. Are they really going to be able to do this? The Troll Warlord, man fighting up against the Earth Spirit. OP needs a big fight, burning, looking for the Chronosphere. They'll actually isolate Arme. But remember, he's got the Agassi Mortal. Uh, Shake is going to lose his life just to burn this. And burning, well, there goes your Chronosphere. OP, he needs this kill for the Sonic Wave, the damage and is just way too much. Invictus Gaming, four heroes down. You know you're gonna make it five. Q can run, but they call GG in sub 20 minutes. LGD, this is a curb stomping by them. Now this is interesting. Alchemist is absolutely going to be the big gobbler of all the money on the side of the map of LGD. Personally, on the side of Invictus. OP still having some fun in mid. In fact, Somnus may be having just as much fun. Oh, he got an over Venom. This could be a and kill. OP, he's already got five of the stacks, and now a Fury swipe. Somnus has the damage required. Neck and neck for the highest CS. Uh, Somnus is actually the man who is leading at the moment 18 5 to the 16 6 of burning. But it does mean bottom lane next assassin. Oh, well, this is one way to catch up in your CS for our mate. <laughs> he's watching like a hawk, and you're right, he's waiting for that right opportunity. Without mana for Shuriken Toss, he now has it available. Maybe Victoria has that damage required. He'll go for the first attack, still got the Toss available. He's waiting for OP to drop a little bit lower, and the Shuriken Toss it will be enough. This is very... I mean, I think I've seen Boboka play this hero Oh, there we go. It's now this they ago. can make work. They dust onto Victoria. They're gonna wait for the first little stun to come in from Boboka, allowing for the secondary concoction onto Victoria, and they have the damage required. It's forced mid. Um, with that we'll kind of space, mid lane, lane, the blink is up. Somnus opening up on the OP. Even with chemical rage, he cannot survive that kind of damage. Bobaka and Nightwish, maybe XSS can get a little bit forward. They've got the Dream Call up, need a little bit more damage. And when he TPs out, the triggering of the Dream... This is jungle. In comes the Nyx Assassin with Lifesteal infested up. They want a big kill. And who are they going to find? Eleven is probably the easiest target. Ice Blast flying forward. Look for the double stun. It connects onto the Earthshaker at least. Allowing OP to back up. Concoction flies out. Keeping Victoria out this battle. And the fight split into multiple parts. Somnus has to stand his ground. Enraging up. This is the only way. Bobrika needs to actually have like that dust and sentry. In fact, he's going to commit it. Victoria and Bobrika get to battle against each other. Victoria. Okay, support has arrived. Oracle. Find a kill on 11 again. Looks like it will happen. Yep, Vendetta hit, follow up stun. And the damage will be more than enough. He has the Echo Slam, but he'll go for the totem instead. No reason. Potential ways for Puck to escape when Ursa initiates in. 
as opposed to just standing there. It's this battle up on top. It is on both sides of Q. Spine Carapace creates a little bit of extra space, but now Nick's Assassin knows he's dead. Six charges, no reason to burn him. Oh, they're waiting. OP in the wings. Here comes your eyes blast and the Echo Slam. Way too easy. No, I'm, normally I'm not even favoring the Alchemist team. I yeah. think they really need to get something done with this Radiance. And normally you would lean towards him. They do find something. It's going to be the Bounty Hunter. Nice no guy. way to escape out. And Q will find this kill. Looking for yeah, the target. Yeah. Victoria oh. in through the rear. The smoke's already broken. So they know there's extra help there. The silence is out. They want the Ancient Apparition down. And is expiring. So he has to walk back. Look at I don't know position. if they're going this tower. I think he did a nice position the back lines, but now the jump forward. Zonus triggers the BKB. Burning needs to retreat back out. This concoction from OP flies down towards the Urshak, and they're keeping him out. The fight, but the damage to the Alchemist is ridiculously huge. And Arme joins the fight as well. Bobrika on the run, low on mana. They can even mana void if they want it, but it is not required. IG once again on the run from LGD. Blink on cooldown for five seconds time. Q trying to retreat back to tier three towers and LGD. They're going Going into the base, they're still tier two towers up. They're fighting into these shrines, bringing down burning. The buyback has to come in. Somnus is in rage. He'll wear off in a second. He's BKB. That BKB reveal from Ursa is just game winning. This is they at least thinking. something to get back. Yep, TP's coming back forward. Again. Victoria will fall. Now the radiance is actually turned off, so the creep wave is not burning. But they're looking towards Roshan. Somnus bashed up. He will still, however, get it, but the initiation of the back line again. Yeah, priority target number one for a fix game to kill. They can move towards Victoria. Able to get the sum of the four star from 11. Gets him back outside the pit. The Ursa is the big one. He wants a battle against OP. Locked in. Bobak has done the work. So that's false promise available, but doesn't have enough life to stay up to get it off. So one support for one support. The Fissure, it connects on Puck. He got into the tree lines, however, but now under the shrine. Burning. Maybe this is fine. Concoction Sun onto the anti mage. Somnus back into the fight with the double sun is doing work. The silence as well. Arme so low. And the sound the air goes slam. Space created. Arme can blink away. Even the three man shuriken toss. Victoria's looking to go back in. He'll pick off Q. The toss is back up in two seconds' time. The track is holding and Victor's gaming in that one position. Ice Blast is looking for the kill onto Burning, while Eleven runs in towards the pit. XSS needs to find the kill. He's got Blink and all, but he does not know. He's a little bit further on the front lines. The Observe Ward from Victoria, obviously a little bit more. But already that start, Echo Slam, Burning deleted! And the Ice Blast will also connect with the Nyx Assassin. XSS in the tree line also falling. There's just way too much power. And LGD, they are looking to do it right now. Invictus Gaming, the last scramble of defense. But how do you repel LGD? They stand, they take the ranks. More fissures control. Spike cameras leaks interrupting up the Ursa. But within range being triggered, that's not even the big one. Isame on the side, picking off the support heroes. No defense abilities, no defense items. Basically, no defense is adequate here for Invictus Gaming. And they know it. GG, LGD, in dominating fashion, have removed Invictus Gaming from TI. And we'll be able to face up against Team